a flowing beard, trademark saffron robe, and an incredible control over mind and body. Armed with his yogic knowledge, Swami Ramdev has built a massive empire for himself. Thousands flock to his yoga camps. Baba is somebody who has a, who has his feet on the grounded and on the, into the grassroots. He is a very effective communicator, and the kind of language EDI he uses that clicks with the common masses of the country. But critics disown his act as just gimmicks. जब बाबा रामदेव की तुलना स्वामी विवेकानंद से करते हैं मुझे शर्म आती है। I give to go on hunger strike for corruption. He has got lots of followers. He should tell those followers not to give any of your money, na? The yoga guru has never been known for just the asanas he endorses. He makes candid comments on worldly affairs. ये जो homosexuality की जो बात हो रही है, इसको भारतीय समाज कभी विचार नहीं कर सकता। Even has an ambition to become a politician. He breaks into a smile out of nowhere, laughs his heart out, scorn at his critics, and has an opinion on everything under the sun. But when he takes a stand, nation follows, and the government leads. Ambir mujhe hai, jin pe sarkar zarur baat karegi. But who is Baba Ramdev? A yoga guru? A businessman? Or a politician in the making? And what has earned him such reverence? We trace the journey of a small paralyzed boy from Mahindragar who attained this cult status. Alipur is a small village in Mahindragar, Haryana. This is where Ram Krishna Yadav was born to illiterate parents who were poor farmers. This 80-year-old house is where Baba Ramdev was born and spent his initial years as a child. His elder brother Devdas fondly recalls the times when both the brothers indulged in friendly bouts of wrestling. Clearly, the family in the formative years of these children put a lot of emphasis on fitness. बचपन में जब किसान के घर में पैदा हुए तो बै बैल गाड़ी ऊट गाड़ी बोट का हल और जो है जो बैलों का हल है उसको जोतने में हमें थोड़ी दिक्कत होती थी क्योंकि बैलों का हल जोतने में उनके पैर में वो जो कुशा होती है लोहे वाली वो लगने का खतरा उसमें बहुत रहता है तो ऊट का हल बहुत हमने जोता है The boy claimed to have spiritual powers in his formative years. Ram Krishna used to talk about seeing a saint in his dreams who urged him to work for the nation. As a child, Ram Krishna suffered from paralysis on his left side. He resorted to yoga for a miraculous turnaround. वो शाम को घर पर बैठते थे संध्या हवन करने के लिए तो एक पानी का गिलास लेते थे एक टाट पट्टी लेते थे छत के ऊपर चले जाते थे तो हमने कहा कि भाई ये ऐसे क्या कर रहे हो आप तो उन्होंने कहा भाई मैं परमात्मा से ध्यान करता हूँ मैं योग करता हूँ वो अपने आसन भी ऊपर जमा देते थे छत के ऊपर जा करके At the age of nine, but various biographies say that Ram Krishna attended school till the eighth grade at Shahzadpur. Contrary to popular perceptions, his skin and teachers remember him as a brilliant student. जब भी विद्यालय में साथी मीटिंग हुआ करती थी, तो वो देश वक्तों पर अपनी सर्चाएं करते थे। आज भगत सिंह पर बोलना है, उधम सिंह पर बोलना है, या राष्ट्र धंधा पर बोलना है। तो देश भक्ति के गीत भी गाता था बचपन से ही इट्स एट दिस प्राइमरी स्कूल इन सैयद अलीपुर वेर राम किशन नाउ नोन एज बाबा राम देव फर्स्ट डिस्प्लेड इज लीनिंग टूवर्ड्स रिलीजियस एंड स्पिरिचुअल टीचिंग विलेजर्स एंड फैमिली मेंबर्स डिस्क्राइब हाउ डिस्पाइट ऑल दी ऑर्ड बाबा रामदेव एक्सेल्ड इन हिस्स स्टडीज उनके अंदर जो विशेषताएं थी एक तो बहुत आत्मविश्वास था 
किसी भी काम को हाथ में लेते थे तो वो कभी भी अविश्वास प्रकट नहीं करते थे कि ये नहीं बहुत परिश्रमी थे पुरुषार्थी थे सोते भी कम थे खाते भी कम थे और एक जज्बा था उनके अंदर और एक कार्य को बहुत बारीकी से करने का उनका वो था कोई भी कार्य जैसे गुरुकुल में होता था तो जो कार्य मतलब कोई भी देख के बता देता कि ये रामकृष्ण ने किया है इतना अच्छे से करते थे वो कार्य को ही देन ज्वाइन द गुरुकुल इन खानपुर विलेज टू स्टडी संस्कृत एंड योगा The yoga guru's family had to face a lot of flack for sending him to the gurukul. It was here that he studied self-discipline and yoga in great detail. Eventually, he renounced worldly life and entered into sannyas. He came into contact with Acharya Baldev ji soon after and accepted him as his guru. It is then that Ram Krishna Yadav became Swami Ramdev. with the techniques of yoga ramdev went to jin to join the kalva gurukul and offered free yoga training to villagers across haryana his yoga classes drew massive crowds by this time ramdev had realized the power of yoga and wanted to explore avenues to spread his knowledge further in 2003 swami ramdev featured on astha tv on the morning slot He modernized yoga and made it simple. He declared breathing exercises like Kapalbhati pranayam a must for most people. Soon his television slots increased and his yoga lessons became permanent fixtures on many networks. Swami Ramdev gathered a cult following in India. More than 30 million people tune in every day to watch his yoga show that describes methods for treating anything from diabetes to high blood pressure. Ramdev admits that the role of television made him a hundred times more powerful. He got mocked by supporters and the media wherever he travels across the country. Many politicians also becoming his disciples. It is said that Baba Ramdev toured the Himalayas for several years in his 20s before heading towards Haridwar. The city's serene surroundings along the bank of the Ganga finally became Baba's abode. There he spent several years studying ancient Indian scriptures at the Gurukul Kangri. In 1995 Ramdev finally launched the Divya Yoga Trust at Sankhal near Haridwar with Swami Karamveer and Acharya Balakrishnan. Even without any advertisements people started flocking to the Divya Yoga pharmacy for medicines. The pharmacy offered medicines, holistic food and herbs besides DVDs on yoga and other educational material. The Baba's critics were up in arms against this unlicensed practice of medicine and his problems were compounded when 113 employees of the Divya Yoga Mandir Trust started an agitation for infringement of employees' rights. In January 2006, CPM leader Brinda Karat accused the Divya Pharmacy for using human and animal bones in their medicines, an allegation रामदेव की जो वहाँ फार्मेसी है उस फार्मेसी में हर्बल बेस्ड आयुर्वेदिक दवा मैन्युफैक्चर होता है और वहाँ हम लोगों को लगभग जून या जुलाई महीने में ये रिपोर्ट प्राप्त हुई कि उन दवाओं में कुछ एनिमल मैटर का मिलावट है जिसको ये सैंपल बोल रही है तो वो हैदराबाद मद्रास और कोलकाता तीन लेबोरेटरी के अंदर भेजा गया जिसके अंदर मद्रास से लेबोरेटरी ने कहा हैदराबाद लेबोरेटरी ने कहा कि नो ह्यूमन कंटेंट अनडिटर्ड बाबा रामदेव कैप्चरेटेड हिज टीचिंग्स ऑफ योगा एज अ मींस टू क्लेंस द बॉडी एंड माइंड गेंड इन पॉपुलैरिटी हिज ब्रीथिंग एक्सरसाइजेस बिकेम अ नेशनल रीच रामदेव लॉन्च्ड हिज फ्लैगशिप प्रोजेक्ट द पतंजलि योगा पीठ इन 2006 
behind this venture was to build the world's largest center for Ayurveda and yoga with the facilities of treatment, research and training. The center at Haridwar is spread over 600 acres and includes a university as well. A 500 acre food park was set up with an investment of 500 crore rupees. Today he runs a 1000 crore rupee business. The yoga and Ayurvedic products of course have turned out to be his most successful money spinning machine. Reportedly Ramdev has a sales revenue of 25 crore rupees every month from the sales of medicine alone. The sale of books and CDs amounts to another 3 crores. Over a period of time, Baba Ramdev has evolved from a yoga guru to a person who has been taking up social causes. In fact, he has said that his primary aim is to build this country, a biggest Ayurvedic and yoga institution. And for that, this trust is the flagship. It is unclear what sort of wealth the various trusts of Baba have amassed and it has prompted politicians to call for a federal agency to investigate Baba Ramdev's assets. But despite questions on his newly acquired wealth, slowly the Baba did attain our status. In the next few years, his fame increased many folds. His controversy quoting statement played a big role in this as well. वैज्ञानिक दृष्टि से किसी भी तरह से इसको उचित नहीं ठहराया जा सकता किसी भी बात इंटरनेशनलोगाइजिंग्रीज एंड Ramdev had a hugely successful tour of England in 2008. The Guru soon expanded his network reach by acquiring a Scottish Isle of two million pounds. He decided to set up a wellness centre here, and this became his overseas base. तो यहाँ से हम इस पूरे पश्चिम की जगत को विज्ञान जहाँ पर बहुत उन्नति के शिखर पर है वहीं अध्यात्म का बोध माने साइंस और स्पिरिचुअलिटी का दोनों का एक समन्वय यहाँ से हो बैलेंस यहाँ से लोगों को संदेश मिले and this is how this place came about i actually wrote a book with mrs steel about the sailing and we were invited today to the sailing and what a wonderful day not only for the indian community but also for the scottish people ram dev took yoga classes on a cruise as well patanjali yoga peet organized a vedic lifestyle cruise on board the sumatra burgo the star cruise with a group of 1062 people from different countries on board took the indian yoga tour riding high the success of his teething cars you come there then decided to build a new park
His new passion was politics. And Ramdev believes that the corrupt Indian political system ought to be cleansed. He also believes that by making corruption punishable by death, it would not only serve as a deterrent to corruption, but also help bring back the billions stashed abroad. We have called Bharat Swabhiman Andolan. And this is Bharat Swabhiman Andolan. We are joining the people of the country. अगले वर्ष हम विधिवत के सदस्य भी बना रहे हैं। When Ramdev announced his plans to float a new political party, few took him seriously. He spoke about transforming India. He took an active interest in issues like black money, illegal mining, and corruption in the corridors of power. Calling for a revolution in India, Ramdev started the Bharat Swabhiman Andolan to eradicate corruption and transform Bharat. Into a superpower. He pledged to go on a hunger strike, prompted the government to send four senior ministers to welcome him at the New Delhi airport. A move that would haunt the government in days to come. Four June se hone wala jo ansan aur satyagraha hai, vah Delhi ke Ramvila Maidan se lekar ke desh ke 620 jilo mein hoga. In reality, the UPA government was in a dilemma on how to handle the situation. While ministers were deputed to dissuade him, others in the party openly questioned his credentials, his background. बात ये है ठग है ना वहाँ पे क्लेरिज होटल में जाकर तो समझौता करता है और जनता को जाके रामलीला मैदान में भड़काता है ये ठग की आपको सफी समझ में नहीं आ रही है रामदेव डिड गो हेड विद दैट मच पब्लिसाइज्ड पार थाउजेंड्स अटेंडिंग द प्रोटेस्ट एट द रामलीला मैदान only to be unceremoniously booted out in a midnight operation by the Delhi police. Now the Baba is on a collision course with the government. Fighting against corruption may have won him more popularity, but many continue to question his motive, the legitimacy of his huge donations, his affiliation to the RSS, has also come under severe criticism. Despite his austere living, Baba Ram Dev remains quite an enigma. He does not disclose his age, Works 18 to 20 hours a day, wakes at 3 in the morning to begin his exercises, fueled by a diet of milk, green vegetables and seasonal fruit. He travels in a convoy of cars and flies in his personal jet frequently. He has a team of professional media and business managers who look after his enterprises. He continues to be an iconic figure and enjoys a following that is normally reserved for cricketers and Bollywood stars. But as Baba Ramdev steps into the dirty world of Indian politics, will he be able to still hold his vote back? Will the man who has a magical cure for physical ailments be actually be able to get rid of corruption? No more. Will the transformation of a common recluse to the most celebrated yoga guru witness a fairy tale ending? <laughs>